So tonight we not only celebrate the leave taking of the Dormition, but Saint Lupus, the Holy Martyr, and the Holy Hieromartyr Irenaeus. And tonight I'd like to focus on what we heard towards the end of the reading, uh, which is, well, we heard that Saint Irenaeus was a disciple of the apostles, one who had known the apostles. Again, we're talking the first century and very early second century. Saint Irenaeus was bishop who had been sent basically to Gaul and was bishop in France at the time. Particularly tonight, I just very briefly want to reflect on what the profundity of St. Irenaeus's words where he said that the word of God who created the world invisibly making it in the form of a cross made himself visible at the time appointed on the cross in order to bring together in his body all the beings that had become separated and bring them to the knowledge of God. All the beings that had become separated and as we know in the fall it's not just Adam and Eve that fall, but the whole of the cosmos falls. So every being that is every creature, the whole of our planet, the whole of our solar system, the whole of the universe, and to bring every being to the knowledge of God. And again, he said, not in his ineffable glory as a man, but as a restored image of God, conformed again to his likeness, conformed again to the image of God, but as he said in the, in the beginning, what we reflected on at the beginning of the reading was that we go from the image of God to the likeness of God. And the likeness of God, of course, God became flesh as the God-man Jesus Christ dwelt among us, lived a life, gave his teaching. And of course, for Orthodox Christians, Jesus is not just a great teacher. He is the God. -man. And he gives us the way to live and to become conformed once more to the likeness of God, to the likeness of Jesus Christ. And then the reading continued, he has nourished us at the breast of his flesh, so that accustomed to eating and drinking the word of God and strengthened by the bread of immortality, which we receive in every divine liturgy. Now remember, these are quotes from very early in the church. The bread of immortality. <coughs> the breast of his flesh. These are words from this very ancient Christian, very ancient apostle, very ancient bishop. He continues, it is impossible to live separated from life, capital L, as we heard, that is God himself, Christ himself, he who is life, And we participate in life. We receive the only living food. Everything we eat is dead except for the body and blood of God, he who is life. And tomorrow, that is exactly what we will do again. We will be refreshed to continue this journey to become conformed to the likeness of Jesus Christ, the God-man. So where was it? Where he says that God came down, I'll paraphrase here, that God came down that he might lift us all up.
And tomorrow we are lifted up once again. It's struggle. Earlier this week, I spoke about struggle in this world and that we will, according to our fathers, struggle until our last breath. According to Christ, he said, that we will be persecuted. We should expect struggle until our last breath. Struggle to become, again, conform to the likeness of God. The greatest thing that we can do, the phrase, you know, the, the proverbial phrase, you are what you eat, is a truism. In fact, when we eat the body and blood of God himself, become incarnate, we become like him. We become conformed to him. God willing, if we take all of the things that we are doing in the church seriously, and you heard about how serious Irenaeus was about the church particularly, not as an institution, but as an organism, as Christ still present in this world in a mystery by virtue of his, the members, and he is the head invisibly still with us, seated at the right hand of his Father, or on his Father's right hand. Tonight, I'm proud of you. You don't be proud of yourselves, I'll be proud of you, as Bishop Basil said. Because you are here tonight, and, and with this I'll conclude. We are preparing, getting our minds, our hearts, prepared to receive the body and blood of Christ. The fire of the living God. And brothers and sisters, Vespers the night before is preparation to receive communion the next day. And I hope every Orthodox Christian that may be watching at home will hear that, that when it comes to the divine liturgy, we go to Vespers the night before to hear, to enter into the feast, the saints that we may be celebrating. Uh, tomorrow we celebrate the resurrection, so we begin to hear the, the stihira of, of the resurrection, those saints, uh, the, the leave taking of the Domitian tonight, for example. And it prepares us to receive the body and blood of Christ. And to do it, even though we are unworthy, we do what we can, of course, to draw near and to prepare, despite our unworthiness, wherever we may be at. Tonight, may God grant you good preparation. May he grant you a faithful walk, and especially spiritual fortitude within this world, that we may, in fact, as St. Irenaeus said, be conformed to the likeness of the God-man, our Lord Jesus Christ, as well as with his Father and the Holy Spirit.